Good early Tuesday morning. Another load of bees out. Can't see them at the entrance. I loaded them up last night and left them outside. And it was minus two or three last night, so they've tucked up inside. This is the extent of the ruts that I'm going to experience on the move out. Just a little wee mark right across one of my fields. Bees in the face. Definitely will not be complaining about bees in the face setting hives out from winter. Here I was thinking that I was going to be able to move all day today. It's supposed to be a cloudy type, coolish, windy day. But things have kind of changed a little bit. So you can see there's mild flight going on right now on the loading pad. So I have got to get these guys out to the yard before they decide to take flight. Because they are geared to do that. I was able to cool the shed down to well, it was about two degrees in here, so I was able to open the doors. As you can see, there's not a lot of flight going on. My bees are nice and calm. But I don't know... What is it? Five degrees right now. I don't know how much longer I can hold them like that. It's nice and easy. If that sun... That sun is overwhelming. If it gets up to a little bit warmer, I'm not going to be able to open this door nor load onto that pad. So this might be the last load I take until or maybe 5 or 6 o'clock tonight when the, the sun starts hitting the horizon. Now I'm starting to get that beekeeping spirit. Nice and easy. Now I'm starting to feel like it's time to go. Now is time. Well, that escalated fast. Holy smokes. Just feel the life in that air. Today is supposed to be a cloudy type cool day. Nothing but brilliant sunshine. I think it's time to start embracing the warmth instead of cursing it. Just about to get this load off. Wow, this is nice. In the air. 
I think that's it for moving bees for the most of the day. It's a beautiful morning. No wind, nice and sunny. A little heat sink in this yard. That is the feel of it. Now I'm in the beekeeping spirit. Holy smokes. So I've sent Carrie around to pull out from that first yard I set out. And we are counting one, two, three, four, five, ah. Counting five, so what is that? On 144, that'll be something like two or two and a half percent initial loss. Like we have to go through and pull out the queen problems and maybe just a little scragglers. She just carried out the absolute dead ones. Wow, boy, these bees are flying. And I'm weighing the colonies as they're coming out of the shed. They are weighing between 68 to 75 pounds per hive. And if the colonies went into winter averaging roughly that 95 to 100 pounds, let's say. So let's say roughly on average about 30 pounds drop from when I put them in to when I've taken them out right now. Or 25 to 30 pounds. And if we don't count October, because October, even though it was cold and we didn't get much feed into them, we still, we did feed a little bit. So we can call October as a maintenance month. So November, December, January, February, March. We're not quite through March yet, but let's pretend we're through March. That's five months. So if they've consumed 25 uh, to 30 pounds through the winter, that's five to six pounds per month. And that is pretty darn good. And they have roughly 40 to 45 to 50 pounds of weight in these colonies now. So they can chew on that for a little while. But I still think we're gonna set out some syrup just to kind of spark these girls up. We have to get the supplement out. Because obviously they're flying, like look at that. Ooh, this is nice. Maybe I should have worked a little harder to get more out. But a weekend is coming. They've increased the temperature on the weekend. So now, now instead of 12, on Saturday, they've forecasted 16 for us. There's no way I want my hives in the shed through that. So I'll have all these girls out. As soon as I can start moving again tonight, I'll load that truck up probably around five-ish or so, as soon as that sun, maybe the cloud cover will come and knock the sun off a little bit, just so I can open the shed door, try to get three loads out tonight. And then another two tomorrow morning. And then Thursday, probably finish up with the nukes. Take a little bit longer to take the nukes out just because they're so awkward. Get them all out for the weekend. What a beautiful sound. <laughs> 